This is dar to give preterite sentences. Now, dar is very irregular in the preterite. It turns into di, diste, dio, dimos, dieron. Now, if you don't know those five forms and understand that they have no accents, go ahead and before you watch this clip, check out my clip called Dar Preterite Forms, because you can't be successful with this unless you know the preterite forms of Dar. All right, I'm gonna read each of these sentences in English and Spanish and then clap. And after I clap, I'd like you guys to repeat just the Spanish sentence. Okay, number one, I gave the book to you. Yo te di el libro. Yo te di el libro. Number two, he gave the money to me. El me dio el dinero. El me dio el dinero. Number three, they gave the pencils to me. Ellas me dieron los lapices. Ellas me dieron los lapices. And number four, we gave the taco to you. Nosotros te dimos los tacos. Nosotros te dimos los tacos. Again, Notice that even though dar is an AR verb, it turns into I, I-S-T-E, I-M-O-S, I-E-R-O-N. And again, since it's very short, it has no accent marks. Remember that chant? Ear, ser, dar, ver, no accents anywhere. So the yo form doesn't have an accent and the he form doesn't have an accent. Now notice, in English we say, I gave the book to you. In Spanish we say, to you, I gave the book. English is backwards to, to Spanish. So in English we say pretty girls, in Spanish we say girls pretty. In English we say she said it to him, in Spanish we say to him it she said. So I to you, I gave the book. All right, number two, um, he gave the money to me. In English we say he gave the money to me, in Spanish to me he gave the money. And again, how are we going to remember that dinero is money? Everybody say dinner costs a lot of money. Dinner costs a lot of money. Dinner tends to be more expensive than breakfast and lunch. Also, there's an actor named, in America named Robert De Niro. Everybody say Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. And I assume because he's a famous actor, he earns, or at least he earned, a lot of money. So, dinero's money. Now, in um, number three, they girls gave the pencils to me. Now, if I just said, me dieron los lapices, I would know if boys gave me pencils or girls gave me pencils. So if it's boys, I say, ellos me dieron los lapices. And if it's girls, like it is here, I say, ellas. So you always say it twice. Remember, in English, you say, um, he tells funny jokes. But in Spanish, we say, he, he tells funny jokes. In Spanish, we don't just say, we go to the bathroom. We say, we, we go to the bathroom. It, it helps to clarify it. Now, lapis L-A-P-I-Z is pencil, but when you make it plural, the Z turns into C. In Spanish, anytime you take a word that ends in Z, like pez, in the plural it's C, peces, um, lapis, lapises. And that accent mark says, hey, don't stress the next to last file, stress me. If there were no accent mark, we would pronounce this lapises, but that accent mark says, hey, don't stress the next to last file, stress me. <clears throat> and the last one. Um, we gave the tacos to you. Literally, we to you, we gave the tacos. All right, hopefully this helps you to understand how to use dar in the preterite.